Hey now, party people, let's continue our discussion about snacking SmackDown. All right, y'all watch the WWE, the little wrestling? Well, I don't watch them no more. I liked it when Junkyard Dog and all those were out back in the 1980s, something like that. Anyways, let's talk about how we're going to get over these urges, okay? Because the urge to snack and, you know, it's just going to come. Nobody gets past that. It's a natural tendency to to want to uh, wanna have some foods that are salty, fatty, sugary. You know, the urge is going to rise. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do, because we're wired to receive pleasure and want pleasure, even if that comes in the form of food, first thing we're going to do, number one, to the smackdown, you want to accept the craving. Say, I want chocolate right now. And just own it. Number two, practice restraint. Just because we want something don't mean we should go get it. Number three, you really want to figure out and get in touch with this serious part. What is going on? Are you tired? Are you restless? Do you want to eat because everybody else around you is eating? Is it perhaps you needed you need to be relaxed at this time? You just need something to relax you because you've just been wound up, you know, with stuff. Really get in touch with what's going on. I'm going to tell you, if you can get in touch with what's really going on with you, a lot of the mindless snacking, you'll cut it down so much. So number four, one of the things I do, everything I told you I actually did, and that's how I've cut my snacking down. Number four, you want to replace whatever foods you snack with with a healthier option. I know you hear that all the time, but it works. Uh, a healthier option being it has less sodium, less sugar, less calories, and it's real food. That, that helps a lot if it's real. Okay, so one of the things, this is just a drink. Say, for instance, I'm craving chocolate. Um, I'll usually drink some hot chocolate. They have low fat, whatever. I know it's not a health food, whatever. Listen to what I'm saying. It helps me not go get a Snicker bar. You, you, you get what I'm saying? And it's hot, it's warm, it's soothing, something gets comforting about the hotness of it. I also use tea as a replacement when I just want to, it's it's late, it's dark, when the sun goes down, does something. Tell me y'all, I just be like, oh, I want something, I want something to eat, I want something to eat. I go get some tea and it goes away. All right, number four is, uh, oh, another thing I use is um, gum. Sometimes I just want to chew. You just want to chew something. I'll go get some um, no sugar gum. And um, I can't remember the brand that I buy. They have all these flavors or whatever. But the point is, it's like two calories and it keeps me from just snacking because I want to chew. Um, number four is my main trigger. You want to know your triggers. And I think my counting is off. Mm. So I'm going to stop counting because I lost my order. So anyways, one of my triggers is social events. So, you know, we have our family night every week and it's pretty social and whatever like that. But most of the time, I don't want to eat the same exact foods everybody else is eating. So I make sure that I have snacks of my own. Okay, so something I like to snack on. You can say, ooh, if you want to, but I like it. I like, I like rice cakes. So that's my little snack foods. Y'all know what else? I bring my own snacks to the movies. I'm whatever about you're not supposed to bring your own food. One time the man was like, ma'am, you can't bring that in here. I said, this is my medicine. What was he going to say? No, it's not. I had peanuts. I had my own snacks. I had my rice cakes. I had my own bottle. I said, to y'all serve healthy snacks in here. I'm bringing my own stuff. This is my medicine. Food is medicine. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. I am Joy Edwards, and this is Jesus, the Gym, and them. Follow us, like us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. <laughs> All right. Bye.